What's going on? My name is Michael and welcome to Fudge Muppet. Today I'm back with even more Starfield for you and again if you haven't played Starfield yet and you love games like Skyrim and Fallout New Vegas then I would highly recommend it. We've made guides for building ships and building your character but we are yet to talk about what weapons to use. We'll make advanced guides on weapons and armor so subscribe for that but in this video I actually want to show you five unique weapons you can get early on in the game that can be a very big help for your build. Some of these weapons are good enough to end up as solid choices at higher levels too. I'll also suggest some bonus ones to check out and throw in an aesthetic honorable mention at the end that I know some of you might really vibe. I just personally don't like that weapon type that much so it didn't make my list of five. The best thing about these guns is that they are easy to get in addition to being powerful. They're also not found deep into a faction plotline or at the very end of a high level area side quest. I've also done extra testing on low level characters that have no combat skill investment just to keep things even when seeing how good each weapon is but do keep in mind that pistols actually scale at a higher percentage increase from 10 to 25 to 50 percent at the third rank of pistol certification instead of 10 to 20 to 30 percent for other gun types so if you are playing a gunslinger the pistols will end up a little extra buffed subscribe for our gunslinger build that's coming first up we have a gun that i used for ages and that is boom boom this shotgun gun is very good for tearing through enemies for many reasons. The shotgun model, called Shotty, is decent to begin with, but you won't really encounter them early on. But a regular Shotty has 12 rounds in its magazine, whereas Boom Boom has 20, allowing you to blast far longer before needing to reload. Additionally, Boom Boom has a laser sight and the high velocity modification, which together help to increase range and accuracy compared to a standard model. Most importantly, it is rare, meaning it comes with one effect, and in this case, that effect is always explosive. This means that some of Boom Boom's shots will randomly turn to an explosive one, blasting enemies away, sometimes multiple enemies at once if they're close together, causing area damage and stagger. The stagger alone can be great because sometimes enemies that didn't get hit that hard but were nearby the explosion still become disoriented, unable to attack you while you continue your onslaught. To get this weapon early on, you simply buy it on Neon in the Volai system located here and head into Neon Tactical and talk to Frank. He sells Boom Boom, which is a weapon with a value of 18,113. I have the first rank of the commerce skill, so I buy items for 5% less, so keep the buy prices you may see on screen in mind as close approximations. I would 100% say this gun is worth spending money on, particularly early on. Just remember you'll want credits to buy the caseless shell ammo for it too. Spending in Starfield is usually a good idea because as you level up, you're going to loot and sell enough to get rich anyway, so it's worth it to experience a fun journey along the way and not wait until you're rich before buying something cool. This shotgun is semi-automatic, but it has a great fire rate and with 20 rounds to shoot and explosive effects often proccing, it's hard to go wrong even if you just spray and pray. And I mean, I often prefer to do that and just hip fire it for fun. If you do end up making a character that specializes in shotguns like I did, it stays strong way up into higher levels before you find shotguns that are clearly better to get. Another shotgun you might want to use is called Rapid Shot, which is sold at the UC Distribution Center in New Atlantis. You won't really find breach shotguns laying around at the start of the game, but with a value of 23,740 it's quite expensive, and while it has a much higher fire rate than a regular breach shotgun model, is fully auto and has slightly higher range and accuracy, I personally think your credits are much better spent on Boom Boom. One thing with this gun to keep in mind though, is that if you shoot an enemy at extremely close range and it goes explosive, you will take damage, so be careful with that. Next up we have Elegance, a regulator pistol that comes with the shattering effect, allowing it to break through even the strongest armor. In addition, it comes with a bunch of modifications that make it far more powerful than a standard regulator and well worth using. In addition to a reflex sight, it has a suppressor which slightly decreases the range but improves accuracy and very importantly muffles the sound, making it a useful addition for any stealth kills, whether that's in a stealthy playstyle or just to open up a battle with. It has penetrate around 
guns installed that are powerful enough to penetrate through multiple enemies and a high powered internal mod to boost raw damage. Most importantly is a receiver mod called Binary Trigger, which boosts the fire rate up massively. Without this mod, the fire rate is only 18, but with it, it jumps up to 109. You will need receiver mods to research if you wanted to craft that mod yourself, so it's nice to just be able to save up a little bit at the start of the game and buy weapons like this early, gaining access to good mods that pack a punch fast. To get it, head to Roland Arms in Aquila City in the Cheyenne system, and you can buy it from there. It has a value of 18,244, but it's well worth it if pistols are your thing and you've been looting all the stuff you find and have the credits on hand. Just remember to buy the 43 Ultra Mag ammo it uses, which isn't necessarily found all over the place. Elegance feels so strong and it makes for a great side weapon even as you level up into the mid-game stages, even if you don't primarily invest in the pistol certification skill. But if you are making a pistols build, you can use it alongside other pistols that use different ammo types. Two bonus pistols I'd mention here are worth considering. One you get for joining the Freestar Rangers in Aquila, which is a path made obvious to you when you first visit the city. This pistol is called Deadeye, and it's a uniquely skinned Razorback pistol, and it uses 7.5mm ammunition. Combining this with Elegance during a Justice bringing Gunslinger playthrough is great, but Elegance itself takes the cake for its ability to just delete enemies. But Deadeye is free, so you may as well just get it and use it on more standard enemies and switch to Elegance and use its ammo on the tougher ones. One pistol sold in Aquila at Laredo Firearms is called The Prime, and it's basically a Razorback with a scope and the elemental effect, but it's more expensive and I still think through testing that Elegance is better and worth getting instead if you want a nice pistol, but feel free to save your game and buy it and see if it works better for you. Speaking of good weapons that are easy to get early on, how about a free weapon? There's a named Bridger with a base value of 15,561 called Ashta Tamer that you can get early on in the main story if you go with Samco to a killer as soon as he becomes available. When you're dealing with the Shore Gang, you'll be led to enter this cave, and then over here, not too far from the entrance of the cave, you will find the gun in a weapons case with some of the 40mm XPL ammo it uses. Having a Bridger early on is great in general because they deal plenty of explosive damage with an ammo type you probably aren't going to use up for anything else. They can come in handy early on in boss battles, even without putting skill points into boosting heavy weapons damage specifically. Its rare effect is incendiary, meaning it can randomly deal incendiary damage. This is quite nice as you can shoot the wall behind enemies taking cover, and in addition to hitting them with explosive damage, they can continue to take fire damage after. It also has a tactical stock installed on it, which is a lighter stock used for quicker aim down sight speed and better stability. Being a free weapon you can use early on, I highly recommend tracking it down and carrying it with you for extra backup, or if you're playing a heavy weapons character, you can even use it as a main weapon, so long as you buy enough ammo for it. Speaking of heavy weapons, there's a pretty powerful uniquely named micro gun, which is what these miniguns are called in Starfield, that you can buy in a store in New Atlantis. The store is that UC distribution center store located in the commercial district. It's easy to find. Once you make your way there, head in inside and talk to the shopkeeper at the counter, you will be able to purchase a weapon called the N67 Smart Gun. It has a base value of 38,713, so it's definitely on the pricier side early on, but if you're willing to spend a bit more early on in your playthrough after a couple of loot holes, it's the perfect purchase for a heavy weapons character. Intuitively, you might feel like it chews through ammo really fast, and it can, however, this isn't necessarily the case on a per kills basis if you use it carefully and don't get carried away. As an example, a Grendel, which is a standard rifle you'll find all over the place, uses the same 7.77mm ammo type as a micro gun, however, Grendels do less damage per shot. You could dump a whole 50 bullets from a Grendel into a tanky foe that could be killed with something like 20 of the same bullets from a micro gun. Understandably, it's easy to go overboard and be wasteful with such a fun high octane weapon, but just remember to be smart about it. The ammo type it uses is found everywhere too, and you can always buy more. 
Micro guns aren't the kind of things you'll find often, particularly early on. However, if you do want to, you can steal some. For example, there's two of them in weapons cases in this gun store down in the Well District of New Atlantis. If you don't have the stealth skill, you might want to save your game before attempting to steal in case you get caught, but just try to avoid the shop owner's eyesight, and you can pull it off without wasting a skill point you probably weren't going to spend while making a heavy weapons build. But stealing might not be part of your role-playing, and even if it is, if you do get a bounty later on and have guards coming up to you demanding you pay it off, well, they're going to confiscate all of your stolen gear, and then you'd lose your micro gun. So the N67 smart gun is more reliable in that regard, and it differs to a normal micro gun in the fact that it has the shattering effect, allowing it to pierce through the strongest armor. The N67 smart gun has armor piercing rounds and a stabilizing barrel, which would need barrel mods too in research to craft yourself, and this increases the accuracy and recoil control at the cost of aim down sight speed while standing still. It also has a compensator on, which increases stability and hip fire accuracy at the cost of some long range accuracy, but you'll tend to use this thing at mid or close ish ranges anyway. Finally, we come to Keel Hauler, which isn't something you buy. If you do begin the Crimson Fleet story, you'll get this pistol as a reward after the first mission you're given after you join the faction. I must say there are a lot of good pistols to find in Starfield. Now I don't want to spoil any of that faction story in this video, so you can check out our Ultimate Starfield Pirate Guide on the channel and use the timestamp at the end to see how to join the Crimson Fleet if you're keen on doing that. The guide still won't spoil that much though, so definitely check it out. Overall, Keel Hauler is pretty strong and great at wiping out foes really fast. It's a unique mag shot, which is a powerful pistol even as the standard model. You won't really encounter it early on, like a lot of the weapon models we've talked about, and the Keel Hauler deals more damage than a calibrated mag shot, but it's the mods and effects that really make the gun great. You can fire off some light taps and still do lots of damage, but if you want to be more wasteful with the 43 MI ammo it uses, then you can hold down the trigger to empty it completely, as it's actually fully automatic. It's a legendary item, so it comes with three effects as well, which are 1. Having a chance to stagger enemies, which is great for those that don't instantly die. 2. It does more damage the less armor one has. And 3. It has a small chance to frenzy your target. It's got mods in all six mod slots, which work together to increase damage, fire rate, stability, hip fire accuracy, and reload speed. It's pretty kitted out, and has a unique Crimson Fleet skin on it, which is perfect for any pirate build. Now real quick, I want to share this honorable mention, a bonus gun on the list called Acid Rain. It's a regular Grendel with some mods, but most importantly, it has the corrosive effect, which can proc while you're shooting enemies with it. And it's bright green. Now I personally don't love using Grendels and find them to be a bit weak compared to other guns, but I suppose if you really wanted to, you could make it work if you're playing a character who is going to mod them up. I just think a lot of people might want to use Acid Rain early on for style points, so here's how to get it and how to unlock a new vendor in the well area of New Atlantis. Now to go to this well district I've mentioned, I like to go from the spaceport up into the main area and then down this elevator near Terrabrew. Then follow this path on screen to find the shop and then you'll want to speak to this character here. He'll have you pick up a suspicious package for him from Porima 3 near the Red Mile, and when you bring it back, you'll unlock him as a new vendor, and he sells the gun, Acid Rain. So if you want to mod up and use a weaponized monster energy can for part of your playthrough, there you go. I'd still prefer other weapons like Boom Boom any day though. Overall, it is nice to just get something strong early on that's the exact model of gun with the exact effect you want, instead of hoping to just randomly find the extra special effect after hours of gameplay like explosive on the exact gun you want like a shoddy, and then having to modify it to improve various stats. If you want to see some of the most powerful weapons in the game used in the hands of powerful builds we'll be showing you how to make, then hit subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks for watching, my name is Michael, and I'm going back to play more Starfield.